Jock members don't receive any interest from their savings and no shareholder gets any profit of the activity of the bank. The fee that is applied on loans covers only administration costs and part of the risk. At the end of the day, what is the effective interest rate of a JOC loan, the percentage that includes all the costs of the loan? Most of our loans be an interest rate in about 2.5%. An average fixed interest rate of 2.5% is made possible by the mathematical mechanism that makes the whole system sustainable, that works in this way. In this first example we see our members saving one coin on the first month, another coin on the second month, another one on the third. At this point it has saved three coins and collected six saving points, because in these months its money goes to other members that asked for a loan. Saving points are only a way to measure how much a member saves during a period of time, giving to others the use of his own money. Now, on the first month, our member withdraws his three coins and borrows three others, giving them back in three months. He pays back one coin each month and pays off the debt in three months. When asking for this loan, he used six saving points that he already earned during the past three months. Therefore, saving points are gained while saving and spent while borrowing. The effective interest rate will be roughly 2.5%. The basic idea is that everyone can get a loan for himself with convenient conditions only if he gives to others the same chance while saving money and gaining saving points. But what's happening if someone asks for more saving points than the ones he saved before? In this case, our member asks for three coins without any having any savings, which he will return in three months. The first month he pays back one coin, but it's also forced to save one more coin in order to accumulate saving points. This mandatory saving is called post-saving or after-saving, since it's done after the loan has been given. The second month he gives back another coin and he saves another one. Monthly he is paying one part that is mortgage and another one that is post saving and the last one that is the 2.5 loan fee. Also for the last month. At the end of the three months he will gain 6-7 points that balance the 6 points borrowed before. Now he will be able to withdraw his post savings that in this case are 3 coins. Finally, in this late example, we are seeing the most common case. Our member begins by saving one coin on the first month. Then the next month he doesn't save anything. However, he still has his money in the account which makes him gain feather points. Then on the third month he saves another coin. He now has two coins and collected four saving points. Then, on the fourth month, our member withdraw his two coins and borrow four others, giving them back in four months. In order to ask for this loan, he needs ten saving points, but he already has four, so it's just six saving points to collect through post savings. Then, when the debt is paid back, our member will be able to withdraw his three post saving coins deposited into his account. Inflation is a big problem in an interest-free system like JOC. Savings and post-savings don't give out any interest. For instance, if a member saves money for 30 years, never asking for a loan, it's obvious he's going to lose money because of the inflation rate. Isn't that a problem? That is one of the main ideas about the banks. We don't really see the, only, the person as an individual, in, individual. We're working with a collective. And so on, that the savings that the one person has done, he can give away the points to another who gains. Because he doesn't need. He doesn't need. So one can benefit from another. But uh -huh. so, and that's the important thing, that we're doing something together. Because that's the whole, what the whole system is about. Mm -hmm. We have about 34,000 members who, who borrow from each other. Jag tror mer på ett samhälle där man kan stödja varandra. 
Jag vet att när jag betalar in mina pengar till jag så vet jag att de lånar ut pengar till andra som också behöver i sin i trängda situationen. Loaning as mutual service among people, that is the financial heresy of Jog Bank. More than 500 volunteers working in 28 local branches give their time for free in order to spread that idea and to find new members. For me, Jag uh, is a very, very good way to, to uh, uh, give energy at my political uh, political thing. The world always changes a little bit in some direction and if I can put uh, the world or Sweden or Italy in, 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 in that direction for, for an interest-free society, I, I will do it.